Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the front shock absorbers in your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a number two square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws at the back, securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Next, unthread the screws, securing the control panel to the support bracket. Pull out the dispenser drawer and depress the button to fully release it. You can now remove the remaining screws, securing the control panel assembly. Lift the assembly up to detach and disconnect the user interface wire connector. Use a flathead screwdriver to help open the main control cover, then disconnect the door latch wire harness. Open the washer door and use needle nose pliers to help remove the outer boot seal retainer. Now remove the boot seal from the lip of the front panel. Lift and support the washer so you can unthread the bottom front panel mounting screws. Remove the support and unthread the top front panel mounting screws. Lift the panel up and out. Use a half-inch socket to depress the retaining tab on a lower shock absorber mounting pin, then use pliers to pull the pin out. Use the socket to depress the upper pin retaining tab and pull the pin out. You can now detach the old shock absorber. Install a new shock absorber by aligning the plunger end with the mounting bracket on the base. Secure it with the mounting pin. Align the opposite end with the tub bracket and secure it with the pin. Repeat this procedure to replace the shock absorber on the opposite side. Reinstall the front panel by aligning it on the mounting pins. Replace the mounting screws on top. Lift and support the washer to replace the bottom mounting screws. Now align the boot seal on the lip of the front panel. Secure the boot to the panel with the outer boot retainer. Reconnect the door latch wire harness and close the main control cover. 
Reinstall the control panel assembly by first reconnecting the user interface wire connector. Realign the panel on the support bracket. And rethread all of the mounting screws. Replace the dispenser drawer. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.